Arizona Congressman Paul Gosar tweeted an anime video of him chopping off AOC's head, right? Easily the most disturbing cartoon since that Family Guy fanfic porn I accidentally watched seven times. Brian has stamina. And Democrats were so furious about this video that today they voted to censure Gosar and kick him off of his committees, the first member of Congress to be censured in over a decade. Yeah, it's pretty bad. But Gosar, well, he seemed to take it as a badge of honor. I rise today to address and reject the mischaracterization, accusations from many in this body that the cartoon from my office is dangerous or threatening. If I must join Alexander Hamilton, the first person attempted to be censored by this house, so be it. It is done. Uh, yeah, I... I don't know if this makes you the same as Alexander Hamilton. You know, this is like, this is like Jeffrey Epstein's girlfriend taking the stand, like, if I must be tried and caught just as Jesus was, then so be it. No, no, lady, lady, it's the same process, but these are very different crimes. Now, the fact is that this didn't surprise anybody, right? Seeing something like this from Paul Gosar is not surprising because over the years, Gosar has made a name for himself as possibly the most controversial person in all of Congress, which is actually pretty impressive when you think about it. So let's talk about what makes Gosar one of Congress's most extreme extremists in another installment of Fringe Watching. <music> Paul Gosar was first elected to Congress back in 2010, riding the wave of the Tea Party, the movement that pretended to care about the national debt, but only while Obama was in office. He's black. And like many Tea Partiers who were elected that year, he didn't come from a career in politics. No, he was a dentist which, as far as he's concerned, is all the experience a congressman needs. I was a dentist, and so every patient that walks in my office, I have to be prepared for an emergency. I'm a dentist, so science is a big deal to me. As a dentist, I love the KISS theory. Keep it simple, stupid. By the way, I'm a dentist. Okay, so I read body language very, very well. Okay, half of those didn't even make sense. He was just adding as a dentist to the beginning of unrelated thoughts. Yo, I'm a dentist, so can I get this dry cleaning back on Tuesday? I'm a dentist. No, you're not currently a dentist. You're working at another job. You can't just use your previous job at this job. I'm a dentist. Would you like uh, number two as well with that? And look, I agree that being a dentist is the perfect job to prepare you for being in Congress, you know, since you already have tons of experience with people hating you. But it turns out there was one part of being a dentist that Gosar did bring to Congress, teeth whitening. Except instead of whitening teeth, he's trying to whiten America. Few Republicans have been more linked to extremist groups than Mr. Gosar. He's been involved with anti-Muslim groups and hate groups. In 2018, he dined with an, an, an extremist anti-Muslim Belgian politician at a London event organized by Steve Bannon. And last month, he tweeted, then deleted, a reportedly neo-Nazi-themed video. Gosar has aligned himself closely with leaders of white nationalists and extremist groups, people like Nick Fuentes, the 22-year-old leader of the America First Movement. Other conservative organizations have denounced him as a Holocaust denier and a racist. The Arizona Republican was the keynote speaker at a conference hosted by Mr. Fuentes' group in February, the only member of Congress to participate. Congressman Marjorie Taylor Greene, along with Republican Congressman Paul Gosar, have been working to create a new House caucus to help return America to its, quote, Anglo-Saxon roots. The document reads, quote, America is a nation with a border and a culture strengthened by a common respect for uniquely Anglo-Saxon political traditions. You know, I always find it funny how white supremacists want to take America back to its roots, but not like the original roots, you know? Just like the roots of when white people were in charge. We need to take this country back to when Native Americans were in charge? No, 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 too far back, too far back. Go forward, go forward. Mm, to MLK? No, 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 too far forward. Back, 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 back. The Irish coming over? Stop, perfect. Because let's be honest, that's what he means by Anglo-Saxon traditions, right? Like when he says that, he's not talking about knights in armor roaming the land on quests, although that, that would be pretty cool. People of Arizona, I'm off to slay the mighty dragon as a dentist. Now, the only thing that Gosar loves more than whiteness is a really, really good conspiracy theory. In fact, he's claimed the Democrats stole a Senate race in 2018. He's claimed that the neo-Nazi rally in Charlottesville was a false flag operation secretly carried out by George Soros. And he's claimed that the FBI was behind the Capitol riot on January 6th. And that last one is especially weird because 
one of the people who arguably was responsible for January 6th was Paul Gosar. Arizona Congressman Paul Gosar firing up crowds with lies about the election results. Imagine this, that you get to go back home when, once we conquer the Hill. Donald Trump has returned to being the president. And amazing things will happen with four more years. In just the days before the riot, he tweeted, Patriots, the time is now. Hold the line. Join me in D.C. January 6th. Hashtag fight for Trump. And in another, he tweeted, Sedition and treason for stealing votes is appropriate. On the morning of the siege, he would send followers this image, stating Biden should concede. He promptly went to Congress, stood up, and opposed the certification of the Electoral College results. I rise up for myself and 60 of my colleagues to object to the uh, counting of the electoral ballots from Arizona. The end of his speech, interrupted by the very mob he helped stir up. Ah, the irony. Interrupted by his own mob. You see, this is why when you're fermenting a coup, you gotta coordinate, you know? Send out a doodle. Let the mob know you're speaking to overturn the election at 1.30, so maybe they could overtake the police barricade at 2, maybe, you know? You know, the only thing worse than your mob showing up early is your mob showing up late. Because then you're just on the floor of Congress going, and if you think Joe Biden is gonna be president, I have a few thousand friends who disagree! Guys, where, where are you? Can we use the bathroom now? Use it after. This is the time. This is the time. So, when you look at what he's done in Congress, I'm not surprised the GOP doesn't care about Gozar's anime video. I mean, between the coup and the white supremacy, this is the least offensive thing that he's ever done. And the GOP might not be condemning Gozar's behavior, but his own family is definitely picking up that slack. Arizona Congressman Paul Gosar was whacked with this oh, attack yeah. ad by six of his brothers and sisters. My name is Tim Gosar. David Gosar. Grace Gosar. Joan Gosar. Gaston Gosar. Jennifer Gosar. Paul's absolutely not working for his district. And he's not listening to you. And he doesn't have your interests at heart. Gosar fired back on Twitter. You can't pick your family, Gosar tweeted. To the six angry Democrat Gosars, see you at mom and dad's house. God. Damn, we need to get Paul Gosar out of Congress and onto a Bravo show. You telling me you wouldn't watch the real Gosars of Maricopa County? I'm a dentist. I'm a private investigator. I hate you. We hate you, too. Ah, tune in. I don't even want to imagine how stressful Thanksgiving must be for Gosar's parents. Think about it. You got to cook for a bunch of children and the entire mob that Paul brings. You're not serving pumpkin pie this year? Well, let's see what my friends have to say about that! Wait, where are you The bathroom again? Come on, what did you guys eat? You're killing me here. My mom's waiting. Yeah, we gotta prove a point to her. Okay, okay, I'll see you soon. I'll be honest, though, as awkward as this family dynamic is, it's more surprising to me when someone does endorse a sibling. I can't front. I mean, think about it. Siblings have experienced too much with you. Like, I don't care if my sister and I believe in all the same things. She put my hand in warm water to make me pee in bed. Nobody should do that to a 37-year-old. So that's Paul Gosar, fringe politician, anime fan, and a man so awful he couldn't win votes from his own family. And I don't know about you guys, but someone this awful, well, they shouldn't be running anything in government. And I don't say this as a talk show host. I say this as someone who's been to the dentist.